free UWorld questions. Hi guys, this is RN Daily Dose, formerly as Indai RN, and here I am to give you some helpful tips to maximize your study for the exam. And before we're going to start, please don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on my channel, especially if you are new. Free UWorld Questions The registered nurse Arn is caring for a confused client in soft wrist restraints. Which tasks can the in safely delegate to the unlicensed assistive personnel UAP? Select all that apply. 1. Assess circulation and sensation of the extremities. 2. Perform range of motion ROM exercises. 3. Reapply the restraints after toileting. 4. Report changes in skin integrity to the ARN. 5. Turn and reposition the client in bed. The registered nurse Arn is caring for a confused client in soft wrist restraints. Which tasks can the in safely delegate to the unlicensed assistive personnel UAP? Select all that apply. Answers 2. Perform range of motion ROM exercises. 3. Reapply the restraints after toileting. 4. Report changes in skin integrity to the Arn. 5. Turn and reposition the client in bed. Explanation. According to federal and state guidelines, all members of the healthcare team providing direct care for clients in protective restraints are required to complete an educational training program. They must be able to demonstrate competency in applying and caring for a client in restraints. Therefore, the UAP has the knowledge, skills, and competency to perform ROM exercises, reapply the restraints, report changes in skin integrity to the ARN, and turn and reposition the client in bed. Options 2, 3, 4, and 5. Option 1 When physical restraints are applied to a client, the ARN is responsible for the primary and ongoing assessments A. Skin, peripheral, neurovascular appropriateness of restraint type, need for continued use, and psychological response. The ARN directs the up in the correct placement of the restraints, when to perform ROM exercises, when and how to change the client's position, and immediately reporting changes observed in the skin egg, integrity, color, temperature, or any other problems. Educational Objective Members of the healthcare team providing direct care for clients in physical restraints are required to complete an educational training program and demonstrate competency in caring for a client in restraints. Therefore, the ARN can safely delegate the following tasks to the UAP, ROM exercises, reapplication of restraints, repositioning a restrained client in bed, and immediately reporting changes observed in the skin or any other problems. During change of shift report, the nurse going off duty notes that the nurse coming on has an alcohol smell on the breath and slurred speech. What actions are important for the nurse to take initially? Select all that apply. 1. Do not continue the handoff report with the oncoming nurse. 2. Document the incident according to facility policy. 3. Notify the charge nurse. 4. Say nothing but watch for impaired behavior. 5. Tell the oncoming nurse that he or she is not fit for duty. During change of shift report, the nurse going off duty notes that the nurse coming on has an alcohol smell on the breath and slurred speech. What actions are important for the nurse to take initially? Select all that apply. Answers 1. Do not continue the handoff report with the oncoming nurse. 2. Document the incident according to facility policy. 3. Notify the charge nurse. Explanation 
an impaired nurse cannot safely give care regardless of the reason for impairment. If impairment is suspected, the nurse has a duty to take action that will both protect the client and ensure that the impaired individual receives assistance. The charge nurse or nurse supervisor should be notified so the nurse can be replaced and sent home safely, the incident documented, and the nurse not allowed to give care while impaired options 1, 2, and 3. Option 4 The off-going nurse will not stay on the new shift to watch for impairment. The impaired nurse may not behave in an obvious manner while the off-going nurse is watching. Regardless of these factors, the nurse has alcohol on the breath and slurred speech. By definition, there is evidence of impairment. Option 5 Confronting the impaired nurse in a hostile manner does nothing to protect the client and offers no support to the nurse. Confrontation may be necessary if the client is in immediate danger egg. The impaired nurse draws up a medication for administration. The off-going nurse should notify the charge nurse so that facility authorities can collaborate with the governing State Board of Nursing to carry out appropriate investigation, discipline, and supportive interventions. Most state nurse practice acts allow rehabilitation for a cooperative professional rather than automatic loss of license. Educational Objective a nurse who is impaired by alcohol cannot be given client responsibility. The recognizing nurse should notify the supervisor, document the incident, and not give client responsibility to the impaired nurse. The nurse reads a journal article about a study using a new pain management protocol for clients with terminal cancer. What is most important for the nurse to consider before applying it to practice on the unit? 1. Did the study have Institutional Review Board herb approval? 2. Do the characteristics of the sample population match those of the nurse's unit? 3. What are the credentials of the study's researcher? 4. What was the financial support of the study? The nurse reads a journal article about a study using a new pain management protocol for clients with terminal cancer. What is most important for the nurse to consider before applying it to practice on the unit? Answer. 2. Do the characteristics of the sample population match those of the nurse's unit? Explanation. It is important to determine if there is similarity between the nurse's unit population and the study population prior to applying the interventions and expecting the same results. For instance, if the nurse is working with pediatric clients with acute pain, the protocol for adult clients with terminal cancer would not be as relevant. Although other aspects could be considered, this takes the highest priority. Other aspects to consider include if the protocol will provide quality care, if all clinically relevant outcomes are considered, and if the benefits are worth any potential harm or costs. Option 1 and HERB is a committee that reviews a facility's research before it is conducted to ensure that is it ethical. Research with human subjects needs HERB approval to ensure protection from unnecessary risk. Although herb approval can be considered to validate the ethical research process, it is a concern of the organization that allowed the study to proceed. Similarly, a journal's review of the report would include assuring that this step took place before accepting the research article for publication. Option 3 The educational credentials of a researcher can be considered, especially those of a non-healthcare professional who conducted a healthcare study. However, the integrity of the research process and findings is more important than the holding of any absolute degree. Option 4 Financial support can be considered, especially when a study finds favorably for a drug or product that the study's financial sponsor manufactures or supports. However, that alone does not negate the usefulness of the study. The essential aspect is that the relationship is disclosed. Educational Objective Before seeking to apply research findings, the nurse should consider the similarities between the research study population and the client population. 